Everyone is all hyped up about the Tofu Peach of Immortality build, but what if I told you that there was an equivalent unit for pets as well? A pet so powerful it can drag the Tang Squad archetype out of the dumpster and thrust it into the spotlight. This is of course the Venus Flytrap. Now the build takes a bit more finesse than the Sauropod spam, but when played correctly, this build can pivot from zero to hero in a single turn. Let's check it out. You're going to be closer to ending the game, which is not fun. So, so drawing is the best, because then you can draw, you can lose, it doesn't really affect your hearts. Uh, and we're going to do it again. <laughs> we're in the drawing zone right now, which I'm, I'm here for. We'll send it. We get a double level up, get all of our options in front of us. I mean, I love Lucky Cat, don't get me wrong. I just don't know if I love it on turn three. I think we just go... Cause, yeah, I think this is better. If we go Baboon, we need a tier two. And I mean, Golden Beetle's fine, but... I don't think we want to keep any of the tier twos long term. You feel? Like, babooning the spider is kind of silly. Also, Camel's broken. <laughs> That's an important factor to, to account for. Okay. The question is, do we take this guinea pig level up now, or do we greet it? Because if we greet it for a tier 4, we can get one of our hang homies. Well, we're probably going to be pretty far behind if we do that. I think we just do get the camel cooking. Let's start getting the guinea pigs going. And we can find another guinea pig. We need one more guinea pig for level 3 anyways, right? Now we just get a nice little tropical fish action. Spider is dead to me. And here we go. <laughs> Off to the races. Now I've played this type of build a couple of times, just trying to hone in the strategy. One thing I've noticed is we don't like greeting early because we need to have a lot of hearts to prepare for <laughs> the uh, the very difficult transition into the end game. Now we have a much more consistent way of getting to the end game, but it still takes a little while. I think Baboon here is good. Um, which I, I think we're probably going to see here in a bit. But for now, we can focus on getting the Camel. Camel is a great mid-tier unit, horrible late game, but we don't need a, a big late game. We got that covered. So as long as we get the Camel cooking, keep him relevant at least, trade in for a couple of homies, I think we're going to be in a good spot. Um, I think this is good. If we can find another Lucky Cat, I'll swap out. Ooh, okay. We can set up for a Gingerbread Lucky Cat gold generator. My favorite gold generator ever. Oh yeah, dude. Camel is so good. Rob Star with two R's. Isn't Ringo Star with two R's too? He's stealing. Throwing a skunk, because skunk is also very good. We got the gingerbread, fantastic. I mean, it's all just kind of cooking right now. We're just trying to save as many hearts as possible. I think a crow is fantastic here. We can get the, the stoat here. Do we sell the stoat right now? I think we might. Okay, just kidding. I was I was planning to get this hamster. I didn't think we were gonna get something good from the stoat, but <laughs> this actually isn't too bad. Get the camel level potentially next turn. I think it depends what we get next turn offered, whether we take the camel level or not. And camel is fantastic against this team. And there's the tiger bug. <laughs> Love to see it, dude. That's the tiger bug coming in clutch. Okay. There is our first Tang homie. That's, that's huge. Okay, what do we got? Do we have any... No, we don't have any buys. Or any sell homies. I don't think the elk is gonna happen. Let's get the Tang Grisner going. I think we take the camel level up. Ooh, okay. This is good. Um, this, They're actually both very good. 
Here's my thought. If we can get a single win with the Venus flytrap on our team, we're off to the races. That may... I think we're... We just passed the last turn where we're not going to lose, unfortunately, but we'll see. Give it a solid go. We might have one more win in us. If we do, we're good. If not, <laughs> this flytrap may be around for a while. Yeah, about that. <laughs> okay. So here's what I mean with the pivot being difficult here. So we're gonna have to spend a, a good solid few turns trying to get this... Our, our Tang adjacent guy, Tang Grisner, I think, Tang Nost, whichever one we don't have on our team. Um, we're gonna have to spend a good bit of time trying to get him leveled up, or statted up I should say. Right now I'm trying to get... This is brutal. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to get the level 2. It's not worth it to get the waffles on, on a level 1. It's just, it takes way too long. So you gotta get the level 2, but now that we have it, we can spam waffles, we can do a half pivot, you know, if we find a Tang Nost in time. And yeah, so we're just gonna be losing for a while. <laughs> it's just how it is. We just hope that we can find our Tang Nost before we actually, like, lose-lose. Okay, there's a Venus flytrap. I think we do this. Hold the flytrap here. We're gonna take one more loss and then we're gonna try to do a half pivot. See if it works. This is a really weird style of gameplay. <laughs> Just for the record, this is not how you should normally play. Ooh, okay. We need to find one, like, right now, Tangnost. Oh, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta call it out in the universe, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta send it out there. Okay. So now, freeze you. This is huge. The reason why it's huge, we have Tangnost actually making our team good again. I wouldn't be surprised if we can just solo a team here. Maybe? Okay, maybe not solo, but basically solo. And what that means is we can get a level 3 Tangrisner this turn from Venus Flytrap. And then we just have to find... They're all going to be 50-50, the Tangnos now. So we're just finding Tangnos. So, fortunately we have one on our team already. So this Yeti is actually going to be very useful. Do not need either of those. So the Yeti is also going to help us roll. Could take a hamster. Uh, maybe we, maybe we don't. <laughs> the Yeti is four rolls, the hamster is two. We take the Yeti here. Okay, do we win this? Maybe? Mm, no, okay. Unfortunate, but we already got the flytrap settled, so it doesn't matter as much. We get a Tangnost. Lucky Cat probably is going to go. Let's get Tangnost out front. Now, I'm hoping we can get one more, and then we're going to switch up the order a little bit. Maybe. There it is. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. On turn 13, you can reasonably expect two 50-50s to solo a team. Or duo a team. So, uh, do we take a level up Yeti? I mean, the Yetis are doing a level 2 Yeti thing staggered right now, so I don't think we need to. Um, so we're hoping that these two Tangnos will take out the team, and then any Venus Flytrap will count as a Tangnos. And it looks like we're going to be good here. This is probably a decent team against anybody else on turn 13. But not this one. All right, no Tangnos that time. Do we sell or do we combine? Let's combine and keep our options open. I'm not gonna level him though. I don't think it's worth the gold right now, but if we end up on like three gold and there's a Yeti there or a chocolate, 
Yeah, we can take it. But right now, the highest priority is more Tangnost, either in the form of Tangnost or Venus Flytraps. There he is. Now, let's roll here. Crap, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, I could have sold him there. I forgot that he's at, he gets uh, discounted from the Flytrap. So I could have sold and got another, but fortunately it did not matter this time. Another, okay. This is, this is all five. <laughs> In the matter of what, three turns, we go from the worst team ever invented to a whole squad of 50-50s. <laughs> That's fantastic news. Okay. And at this point, I mean, we're taking any melons or anything we find. Some sort of held foods. But, yeah. That's basically the vibe here. It's one of those without Venus Flytrap, we would have lost a long time ago. It's just this consistency is unmatched, really. The Flytrap, it's kind of a similar idea to the Tofu. Um, the Tofu went insane getting... Let's see if we can get another melon here. Not right now, but Tofu went insane getting all of the the peaches of immortality. Well, Flytrap is the equivalent for the Tang Nos homies. Uh, do we lose it? No, okay. <laughs> I thought with the Behemoth we might. Yeah, that's another issue. Uh, super late game, they get crushed by Behemoth, as do all 50-50 squads. Let's be real. If Venus Flytrap can make this team work, this archetype, it, anything can work. 